This is why we're cute, fireball bait deck is currently one of the strongest decks in Clash Royale nobody really talks about. Today I'm gonna prove you why this deck is so strong. Also, it's a really reliable deck to upgrade. So if you're looking at the deck you wanna upgrade, use this deck also, since there's no champion in this deck. If you guys enjoy this type of content, make sure to subscribe and also make sure to give a fat thumbs up on the video. And also, using Critical Mod in the shop is highly appreciated. So guys, this deck is just so, so good. There are a ton of bait players right now, so Flying Machine is one of the most underrated cards in Clash Royale. This is why Flying Machine is so good. Also Mighty Miner. You could think Mighty Miner Fireball Cycle does so so well against Royal Recruits, but I kind of disagree with that since Mighty Miner is so bad against Royal Recruits and you just need to Fireball so so much. So this is why I feel like the deck is a bit overshadowed since also a ton of people are playing Rocket right now. I just think that Mighty Miner is just so so good. Mighty Miner is just so as so good and that's why Royal Recruits and also having the Zappies against the Mighty Miner. This deck is so so underrated. You should try using it since it's also a deck which is in the matter for quite some time so really overall solid deck to upgrade so i'm using my electricity in case he goes in for dash seems like he isn't and right now i'm just gonna go for my wicked see i can't really do that he could go in now for uh e-giant i don't know if he does it though so if he doesn't i can go zappies okay he doesn't do it okay my flying machine for sure will get a ton of value so i'm gonna go for my flying machine if he decides to go in for his inferno dragon I decide to drop Zeppis here, split them up, and make sure my flying machine stays alive. Now, so I'm gonna go for my Barbarian Ball here, tank for the flying machine, perfectly, didn't work out, that's great. Um, <laughs> cap, so, at least the Zeppis, Zeppis damage is underrated. Um, so, I'm using my Electro Spirit here, that's great. Really, really good um, placement, so that Gold Knight is not gonna be able to get any damage on tower anymore. And I guess right now it's time for us to go in for our Goblin Cage in the back. So, right now I guess cycling my Flying Machine early on is fine. Mm, still figuring out the best E-Giant defense. Zeppies. He will Tornado soon, so I need to go Barbarian Brawl here. Yeah, let's go. E-Spirit, we cute. No, he's no, he has a problem, right? How is he gonna defend this one? I'm also going for my hoggies. Oh, the, the, the golden knight will do a ton of uh, ton of work. Good golden knight. Okay, really well placed golden knight there. But my flying machine could lock on on top of the dark prince at least. Let's go. Zeppies. Let's go, good Zeppies. Using my flying machine now. And I guess I want to go wicked at the bridge now. This is exactly what I'm doing. I'm gonna play recruits now. Playing my Esper to the left, since if he goes in for Electro Dra and Fan Dragon on top of my on top of my flying machine will help. I'm gonna go, go for Hoggies now in front of that, using my Barbarian Bill here. And now he's a big problem. Look at that. I hope the Dark Prince dies. Dark Prince dies. I'm just gonna go for Flying Machine to the bridge, trying to get even more damage. And I know he cannot really do much against it. So look at this. The flying machine is on tower, chipping down the tower. Also the left side. And this is always what happens. You wanna split up your troops, you wanna split up your pushes, and you wanna be aggressive on one side as we did there. So Using my Zappy split here, maybe not the optimal thing to split my Zappy, so normally I would have, I should have played all of them to the right, even as Gold Knight. The only way for him winning his matchup is getting a ton of Gold Knight value. So he's using an interesting lightning. Don't really agree with this decision since we are like already back to another cage. And right now, just for me, time to go in for another goblin cage here. I'm gonna go now for my Barbarian Roll here. Okay, that's fine. Need to go in uh, this. Okay, that's exactly what I was talking about. Golden Knight can be annoying. Back to Spirit like this. Using my Zeppies now. Zeppies are coming down in time. He did a really good job. That was well played. And I think it all started with splitting up my Zeppies. Okay. It's not like I lost the game here, but it's for sure not optimal. I'm gonna go for most likely Fireball. You kinda know I'm not. Okay, that's good for me that he decided to defend it like that. So I get a ton of damage. I also can go for Flying Machine high here. E Spirit. Flying Machine. I'm also gonna fireball this. Barbarian Bro is coming down. Okay, that's fine. Flying machine like this at the bridge. Now I'm just gonna go hoggies here. Really good hoggies. And I just need one hoggy shot, right? I just need one hoggy shot. So I'm gonna go fireball here. Fireball's coming down. GG's well played. Awesome victory. And it just shows how good the stack is on defense and offense. Even I played it not great. The only we worry, or like the only real thing we need to worry about is for sure the golden knight. So guys, in this game against Itachi, we're gonna start off once again on... Did we start with Barbarian Bowl last time? I don't know, but it's actually a really, really solid starting play. So he's using a bandit. Um, playing my flying machine now. I 
guess. Yeah, I'm just gonna go defensive hog. You see, it's not optimal, but I don't know what to do. So we're going to be able to get some value. So we're facing Pekka. Pekka should be an absolutely great of a matchup. Using Zeppis now. Let's go. Zeppis are coming down. We got some bridge spam answers. We got a fireball bait. He's laughing since we also have the world record. So this is a matchup we sh normally should win. Um, yeah, honestly, I don't know how to lose this one at least. Hopefully. But it's also good that I don't know how to lose this one. I like this was coming down. I don't really want to waste my... Um, Cage, since I don't really need it. So I'm gonna go cage now. It's fine. Still, because my brawler no, doesn't get any counter push value. I guess next play is gonna be able or going to be playing my flying machine in the back. Since I want to play my wickets on top of the backup, I don't want to play it in the back. Um, this is important, so let's see. I guess he's gonna play his Ewers. Playing my Zeppies like this. It's fine. And now I'm gonna go Wakeuts here. Let's go, Wakeuts coming down. Eastbird gets a ton of value. So far, so good. And I guess the next play is most likely. Do I wanna fireball it? No, I think I don't wanna. I think a double the matchup gets way more solid. Um, so I don't need to be that aggressive in single. Using my Barbarian Brawl now. Just keying that up. Oh, that was a great protection. This could put us in trouble. Depends how good the brawler is. Bro, that was an awesome zap. We need to give him credit for that. Well played. You played it really awesome, man. GG's. At least in this situation. I'm not gonna give up, so. <laughs> okay, that will be one shot from the ghost on the top of the tower as always. Ghost always gets a shot. We go for a fireball now. And for the hoggies now. He will fireball the most likely, so that's okay. Um... Okay, I guess next up we're going for Zeppis here. Hmm. Going for a cage like this. And now I'm most likely going to play. Maybe I should play Wiggits in the back. No, I guess I'm gonna fireball this. Let's defend this. He's using a ghost. I'm gonna go opposite lane now. Trying to bait on another fireball. Okay, he's gonna fireball Zap. So I mean, Wiggits now should be the play. Let's do it. We are up by Elixir. So doing this is a good play. He's using his Packer, okay. Using my flying machine. Zeppies. Okay. Fireball. Let's see what he does next. Okay. Hoggies like this, split them up. Flying machine is on tower. If the Eastwood gets there in time, oh, they would have been so, so big, but still fine. We still get so much damage. We still get so much damage. Gonna go for Zeppis now, split. Okay, hmm. I guess no. It's time for a goblin cage. Also time for Royal Wicuts. Need to say the magic are just pretty annoying, so I guess we're gonna fireball even if it's late better than better late than sorry. Better late than never. I don't know. Hmm Okay. He goes in for a fireball pre uh, fireball, but that was a bad fireball. I guess he doesn't know what to do and I kinda get it. Huh! <laughs> Playing machine in the middle. Fireball on tower. We still need to go away on both sides. He goes in front of E wizard. So I'm gonna go for Warlocks on the right. He needs to fireball that. Immediately I can go and easily for my this here. And the Hoggies get on tower. Fireball. Yeah, this is just an absolutely awesome match. We didn't really play it, I think, perfect, but still. Yeah, you don't need to worry. Single Elixir can be tough sometimes. If they're outside and you don't have enough Elixir, but a double, they can't do anything. So, guys, you're facing our virus. So, let's see. We're going for the cage here. I think this is also a good starting play besides Jonna drop our. Besides dropping our. Okay. A deadly virus. Interesting, bro. Ah, right. Balloon at the bridge first play and also having fireball and cycle. Seems rigged. Seems really rigged. Um. 
At least the flying machine gets on tower. Tombstone is so annoying against us if he plays like the Lava Loon version. Tombstone is so good against us. It's me. He has guards. Okay, does he have Tombstone guards version? Does he have a different version? Let's find it out. No. I'm gonna play my Bam Brawl here. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna go Hoggies. Let's find out what he has. Okay, seems like he likes to let it go. Okay, how are we gonna defend this now? What the bro? You cannot play e -bobs. I mean, you can. Okay, I think we let one e-bub go. Mm. Fireball, I guess. Good fireball. Also, like, I don't underestimate the recruits on the left side. They're doing some decent chip. Or at least forcing out decent elixirs. So we're gonna go. So we can go for the brain ball and get two shots on top of the tower. What we're we gonna do now, by Baron Barrel? Great, okay. What is our next play? That's the question. Um, I guess if he goes... I'm just gonna go Hoggies here. I predict Lava Round. No, he doesn't, okay. He's gonna Fireball, this is okay play, since he doesn't have Fireball against Flying Machine or anymore on Zeppies. So, every time they Fireball the Hoggies, this is, a, this is an achievement for us. We're happy. Cage now. I guess I'm cycling my recruits. Mm. And the next play is gonna be able, like, gonna be flying machine. So that be split in the middle, I guess. Yeah, exactly. So that be split in the middle. Also, hoggy split in the middle. Okay, not the best hoggy split of all time. So we need to worry now. What happened? My tower is that gun. Okay, my tower is for sure gun. So. Let's see what we can do. Going for this here. I think we messed it up, so... I don't really know. Hmm, what should we have done? Maybe we should have been a more aggressive. We just, I think going for records at the bridge in this situation would have been the play. That would have been the play, I guess. We should have been way more aggressive for records, being a bit more aggressive. I think I played this too passive, but we analyzed our mistakes, and we will make it better in the next game. Here we go, facing Sugar Friends. Yeah, okay, we need to for sure win this one after a loss. I hate losing, I hate losing. So we go for the cage. Okay, he also drops his cage. I guess we're just gonna flying machine have our fireball waiting in case he drops that piece or something. Yeah, perfect. This is a perfect fireball since we also hit the... And his fireball was bad. Ha! Huh. So I'm using my barbarian here. Okay, what's, what is he doing? He's using his own barbarian but it won't be enough. So we're gonna get one shot. Let's go, one shot! I'm taking that! I'm really taking this one. Hmm... I guess playing go hoggies is fine since his cage is auto cycle this is the recruits okay facing like having a recruits mirror matchup is not really what i was looking forward but we need to deal with that now playing my recruits low so that's what we're gonna do playing in low now I have my cage ready oh no he's playing the version with golden knight that's for sure worse for us bro we don't have to we don't have champions relax <laughs> Barbarian Barrel. Okay, the question is what we're gonna do now. We have we are low on Elixir. If he spits Hoggies, I need to fireball left side. If not, I'm just gonna split Zeppi since Zeppi's are defending both sides. So we have to con we, we have the the better start. We have the better start. Even if he goes enough for Hoggies, I need to fireball. I don't really like to do it, but yeah, rather than taking like 2k damage. Okay, if he goes in Rickets now, he goes uh, uh, Rickets. Yeah. Okay, let's go with Qs now. Killing that. I don't really agree with the piggy split here, since he gets some damage on both sides, but we still have the big uh, uh, damage advantage. So, okay. I guess I'm going Hoggy C. And most likely what he's gonna do is gonna fireball, so I'm fine with that. Yeah, he's goes in for like a ton of elixir. So smart Hoggies. Um, playing my flying machine back now, he doesn't have a fireball. Mm. Electro Spirit and Cage. He goes and Zeppies in the back. I don't want to give him any recruit, uh, I mean, any Golden Knight value. So I'm gonna go Fireball here. Good Fireball. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna go Recruits now at the bridge. 
to also protect hopefully the flying machine. No, that didn't work out. But still okay. Playing my E Spirit here. Okay. What is he gonna do next? This is a really slow game. Don't really normally like to play the games like that, but that's life, what I'm supposed to do. Using my cage like this. Flying machine like this. Oh, okay. I guess I'm gonna go now for hoggies. Don't know how good the hoggies were, to be fair. I think they weren't, they, they weren't good hoggies. I think I was a bit too aggressive. Okay, the fireball was also bad. So it's fine. But Bane Barrel. Okay, he was on Zappies. This is such a slow game. Um, mm, Electro Spirit. Flying Machine. Fireball. Barbarian Barrel. Cage. Okay. So far, so good. I'm just gonna split Zappies. Yeah, okay. Recruits now. We are fine. We are chilling, man. This game is really intense. So I think this is like the perfect example. Like, I um, how to play a mirror matchup. Flying machine. Hoggy's left. Back to the fish mark. Okay. I guess the best thing we're doing could do is going for this. I always want to fireball the flying machine. Okay. That was insanely good. Barbarian Barrel now going for my Recruits high. Playing Zeppi's high. So the thing is when we're just mirroring his place, he cannot break through, right? This is smart. This is actually really smart. So we're using our flying machine or the bridge. He needs to fire the flying machine. He needs to fire the hoggies. GG's well played. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe if you guys don't want to miss any videos just like that in the future. And also make sure to use Creator Good Mod in the shop. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to be out and have a great rest of your day.